Hey guys, Richard at Riding Zoom here again in my Shed Devices Doctor review. Uh, this is well, this is for Series Two, Episode Eleven, Fear Her. And uh, see, I've just moved my arms because my ferret's decided. Oh yes, you know, boy. Here you go. He's decided to try and shoot to the door. I'm not quite in view, but yeah, there he goes. <laughs> they love to try and bolt for the door randomly when it's uh, shut because they want to get out. <clears throat> so yeah, on to the episode then. Fear her now. Like I said before, this was not as bad as the Idiot's Lantern, even though it seems to be the go-to episode for worse. I think those three tend to be Idiot's Lantern, Love and Monsters, and Fear Her. Love and Monsters because it does some, something so very different, and I guess people just didn't like it. Um, Idiot's Lantern because it's just a bad, felt bad episode, and Fear Her because it's just blatant filler thrown in at the last minute because Stephen Fry is meant to do an episode, it never happened for some reason, and this was aimed entirely at children. And yeah, it shows it's not a good episode. So basic plot is... Again, this is a 2006 episode, Come to the Future 2012, where London are hosting the Olympic Games. <laughs> yeah, it can't have been too long before filming in 06 began that that was all announced. Excuse me, goes the door on the ferret, so he doesn't... Nope, he's got no food in his mouth. Okay, that's fine. You come out then, Rocket. Nope, he has got a food in his mouth. You've got look, I can see it. Just hanging in his mouth. Okay. So yeah, 2012, London hosting the Olympic Games. It's basically like prep for it yeah like some house in some estate in london they've got their flags up and everything the torch being run and through near and the doctor and rose show up and people and animals are disappearing basically there's this girl called chloe who draws people out of existence um so it's like a spoiler for tortured here torture did a similar ish episode but um basically chloe's being possessed by this like creature this alien like flower species that is on it entirely on its own and just wants people to be with her and is basically possessing Chloe to bring everyone to her. You know, like, so she's drawing people out of existence but then they're existing in these pictures in, in some way and she's just got no control she's just doing it to everybody and her mum, everyone's too, like, her mum's too scared of her. No one is like able to do anything and goes to Dr. Rose Sharp at the right time to try and stop it and <clears throat> Chloe has also drawn her dad who's an abusive dad and he's kind of taken life as well in a form of like pure evil and um, yeah, it's about pretty much it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, Dr. and Rose are fun together. Yeah, it's a good dynamic. No lovey-dovey stuff that's, uh, you know, which has crippled some of this series to me. And there's a warning, you be there in full force the next two episodes, uh, particularly the finale. Um, but yeah, basically, this is kind of all that happens. The Dr. and Rose show up, they stop it. Chloe originally draws the Doctor and the TARDIS. Then draws the whole of London, like the Olympic Stadium, then draws twice as draw the whole planet. It's just so absurd and over the top. And in the end, they stop her. There's a massive heat source needed in order to free the alien creature from Chloe, which they managed to do. The hose just hacks up the uh, freshly laid tarmac and it basically unleashes a giant power source. Gets out, Chloe gets free, but then the drawing, the drawing of her dad still exists and is like seemingly coming to her life or something. And they managed to just like. Her mum and her daughters love each other. So I, don't, I kind of drifted out at the end, but together they kind of beat it and they're free. So yeah, that and then the doctor returns. Um, the flag torch, the uh, flag bearer. God, I'm thinking Game of Thrones like the uh, torch bearer. He uh, just collapses randomly, and then the doctor shows up out of nowhere to drop the torch off. And uh, that's pretty much it. And oh, and the episode ends when like the doctor senses a storm is coming, and Rose is talking about how nothing will ever split the two of them up. And it's uh, yeah. <laughs> that's so something is going to happen it's been hints to it all series you know the devil basic wrote doctors convinced that it lied saying rose would die in battle but maybe it wasn't and yeah so that's pretty much it there's not that much good going for it no problem the acting you know the main actress is obviously pretty young um it's fun seeing that a few episodes set, you know showing off the olympics in the future oh and a kerry hole uh yeah, Dame Kelly Holmes's road. <laughs> Apparently, she wanted her to be in the episode to be with the torch fair, but she wasn't able to do it. So yeah, it's got. It's, I always like an adult to the future, particularly when there's something coming up. Like 2012 did it with Van Staten's base. Uh, it was just a base in Utah. This is actually the London Olympics, which was a massive deal at the time. So yeah, it's not the worst episode. It still goes to Idiot's Lantern, but this is the second worst. It's just it's nothing offensively bad. It's just really really dull, and it's just not not a particularly exciting episode. That. There's an episode called In the Forest of the Night in Series 8, which I'd push the exact same thoughts on, which we'll see how I feel when I get to that. But yeah, that is it. So it's just the uh, two path now I need to go. So I will see you next time. Well, you think it will not shut.